Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, as you can see, the cows are all in. Our grazing season has finished. Um, this today is Saturday, 18th of November. Um, our cows have been housed now since Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday was the first day in. Uh, they've been in by night since early October. So well, we've run out of grass. So we've had to bring them in night and day. Uh, they're in here now eating um, brown bale silage. We've decided to give them bales to um, save our main clamp, which is full of first cut. So we can save the first cut for when they're freshly calved next spring. So most of the cows, well, all the cows, we dried off now by Christmas. So. It'll be on this bale silage, and it's pretty good stuff. It's all um, first or second cut they have in, um, and it's mostly grass. That a lot of it is grass that's um, gone a bit too strong in the paddock, so it's all fairly good quality. So um, yeah, grazing 17 is finished for us here at Cotland. It's a bit of a pity, but there we are. We couldn't be helped. We had planned to keep the cows out for um, for about a week longer, but we had to have. A couple of bunches of young stock home about 10 days early because we had a TB test. So um, we lost a week's grazing for the cows then because the young, we had young stock at home. And then we failed the TB test. We had a reactor and um, 13 inconclusive, uh, seven of which. Uh, sorry, all, all the inconclusives were severe reading inconclusives then, which means that the tolerance between pass and fail is uh, much tighter. So, yeah, we're right back in the mix of TB problems again, unfortunately. But um, there we are. It's one of those one of those things of farming down where we do. These animals here now are all my um, in calf heifers. We've got uh, 83 of them all together. Uh, one is re TB reactor, so should we go to 82? We'll have left then. Um, these are all having second cut clamp silage to eat. We're giving these clamp silage because it's uh, it'll be easy, easier than trying to get bales into this um, into this narrow trough here. So that's where they're on clamp silage. I don't know if you can see in the distance there, it's my contractor's um, Massey 7618. We were pumping slurry this morning, but unfortunately we had a couple of showers of rain and they've had to stop because they were starting to run off. So before we got any huge amount of slurry runoff, we had to stop unfortunately, but we managed to drop the lagoon by about a foot or so, so we should buy us a bit of time then. So, um, yeah, these girls are all over here been in for the winter as well. And uh, they've got cubicles. All, um, everything's, all these are housed in cubicles. And this is what we spent a bit of money on this year now. We've put um, these rubber mats in. They're uh, mayo mats. I don't know if you can... If you can make that out there, the Mayo mattress. This shed was um, sand beds, but we decided to fill those in and concrete them over and use use the mats to save on sand because they're only in calf heifers or dry cows house over here. So there was the point of spending tons of money on sand when it's just as easy to put a little bit of sand on, on mats. And we won't end up with so much sand in the slurry lagoon. That's, that's the plan behind it anyway. So yeah, grazing season 17 is finished. So roll on drying off now I say. Yeah, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.